Hello students, today's agenda is to interpret functions and we're going to be working on 7.1. Uh, so today's, today's students will be able to name different parts of a function in its graph. So, If we have either one of these two graphs, when we're asked to locate the local maxima, the local maxima, Let me do first the global, global maximum. When, when we're talking about the global maximum, it refers to the highest point. And so when I ask you to locate the global maximum, you can either just point with it, point at it, which is the highest point, right? The highest point in the graph. And you can write there global maximum. Or you can just underline this and also color it. On this second graph, the global maximum would be this point right here, since this is the highest point all, on all the graph. When it's asking for the global minimum, oops, I should have just write it with black. It refers to the lowest point in the graph. And so, again, you can just underline it with a color. On this graph, the lowest point is right here. On this other graph, the lowest point would be right here. We also have the local maxima. And the local maxima, it refers to all the highest points. in comparison to other points in the graph. So basically, maybe I'll use aqua. And so notice how in here, when it's talking about one point, it's maximum. But then when there are many or more than two points, then it's maxima, okay? So in this graph, the local maxima would be this, this, and also the global would also be called local maxima, okay? So all three of them will be local maxima. On this other graph, we would have these three points, okay? Notice how I'm using this in here, because that's also called um, max, local maxima, maximum, okay? If we're talking about local minima, minima, then it refers to all the lowest points. Okay, so this is the lowest compared to other points. This is lower than other points and this is lower. So I'm using this yellow. And in this graph, this is lower than other points. This is lower than these other points. And this is also, even though this is the global minima, minimum, it's also a local maxima, maximum. Okay, so take a minute, pause it, and maybe take note of this. 
again there is only one global maximum which is the highest point one global minimum which is the lowest point but then there are several local maxima and several local minima in each of these two graphs okay Another vocabulary that we are going to learn so that we can interpret the, the function is where the graph is positive and where the graph is negative. Okay, so positive, all the points. above the x axis and the graph is negative when all the points are below the x axis and so if I ask you to please locate where the graph is positive, all you have to do is kind of like put a, uh, or cover the part that is negative and just color in where the graph is positive. Uh, this can also be done with, by writing, um, an equation but today we're just gonna locate it okay so the graph is positive in all of these sections okay and the graph is negative in all the points that are below the x-axis okay so out of these points Notice how it's not if it's going down or going up, it's just if it's below the x-axis, above the x-axis. And some of my students recall um, or remember this, that anything is, that is showing above the sea level is positive. Anything that is below the sea level, if there is like the water of the sea, then anything underneath the water, that, then that's the part where the graph is negative. Okay, for this lesson, okay, if you don't, if you need more time, remember you can always pause the video. For this lesson, we also need we also need to know when the graph is increasing. And that would be when the slope is positive. Mm, let's see. When the slope is positive. And notice how I'm using the word positive, but if you recall from, from previous level, the slope is positive if my line is positive. The slope is negative if my line is negative. Okay, from left to right, going up. From left to right, it's going up. That means the slope is positive. From left to right, going down, that means the slope is negative. Okay, so increasing would be all of these areas. In here is going up, it's going up, it's going up. But then at this point, the slope is zero. And then my 
my slope from here to here it's going down from left to right it's going down it's going down it's going down and then it stays at zero then again it's increasing 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 and I'll write the definition for decreasing it's when the slope is negative okay so now in from here to here it's increasing so what we can say is that the graph is increasing where it's green and then it's decreasing if the slope is negative okay um notice that all the maxima and minima there is no increase once it touches this point there is no increase no decrease so we can say that the slope is zero in the all the maximas and all the minimums okay so we're gonna put all the maxima and all me minima I should say at all the maxima and all minima there is no increase or nor decrease therefore slope is equals to zero okay so i think that's going to be enough for you to uh, work on 7.1 and again if you there is something that you need to see again uh, this is not a very difficult concept it's just that <laughs> there is several vocabulary that you need to remember and so therefore you might want to see it again okay so have fun